Hi folks, welcome back to the AGS tutorial. In the last video we, we talked about how to display text on the screen and I told you I was going to, in this video, I was going to show you how to center that text on the screen and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, but first of all I have to kind of set up uh, how, how you would do that, how, how centering sort of works. AGS doesn't exactly provide you with an automatic way or a scripting one-liner type way of, of centering text with a text overlay on the screen. So um, you sort of have to do a couple of, um, a couple of things by hand um, to, to do that. The first thing that I'm gonna I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up a, a picture that I that I drew here, and it's just a, a screenshot of of an example that I that I did. I have the the text here. This is the text to display, and let's just say that I wanted to take that that text as a text overlay and center it on the screen, sort of like how it is now. It's sort of centered in this Sammy's Quest window here. Um, well. In order to do that, what I would do, just, just thinking out loud here, what I would really want to do is find the middle of the screen, exactly the middle point of the screen, and I would sort of want to put half of the text to the left of that center point, and that would center it horizontally on the screen. To center it vertically on the screen, if I knew that the center point again, the center point of the screen, I would want to put half of the text above that center point. So that's that's really what you have to do um, when you're centering text with a text overlay. You sort of have to tell AGS, okay, I know the center of the screen is here. Let me subtract half of half of the width of the uh, of the text overlay and put the uh, and start the text there. And likewise, let me subtract half of the of the height of the text overlay and start the the upper left corner at that point. So in this other um, window that I'm going to bring up, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, it's the same same text, but I've sort of drawn a couple of things uh, on the screen. Um, this red dot here, I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can see it on YouTube. This red dot is sort of on top of the E in text. Um, that's the that's the center point of the screen. So if I know, for example, that this text here is 143 pixels across, and just bear with me here, then I know that I'm going to have to put 143 divided by 2 pixels to the left of this red dot and 143 divided by 2 pixels to the right of this red dot. Um, and I know 143 doesn't easily divide by 2 but but just bear with me. Then I know that that text then is centered in the middle horizontally on the screen. Likewise if I know that this text is 8 pixels tall for example then if I put 8 divided by 2 pixels above the red dot and 8 divided by 2 pixels below the red dot then I know that the, that the text is centered vertically as well. So that's sort of what we're going to have to do to center this the, the text on the screen. Now this 320 pixels across here and this 200 pixels uh, that I've drawn here, that's the um, the dimensions of the of the screen itself or the window itself. It's called the viewport uh, in AGS. That's the dimensions there. So that's that's what you, that's what I'll have to use to calculate this red dot. So I know that's a lot of information, but all that information together is what we'll have to have to be able to center text onto the screen. Um, and that, now I'm going to show you how, how you would sort of go about tackling this in, uh, in AGS. So let me uh, switch back to AGS here. Let me go to my room script, the cutscene room, go into the room script that we, uh, that we did uh, in the last video. What I'm going to do is actually create a function. And we talked about functions once before. Um, but all a function is, is it, it's just a um, grouping uh, of a series of text uh, of scripting commands that then can be called from another point in the script. I have I, I put the keyword function and then a space and now I'm going to put the name of the function. In this case I'm going to call my function show text centered. And then I put an open parenthesis. Within these parentheses then I'm going to put the parameters to the to this function. What does this function need to be able to to do its job? Well in this case this function needs um, what is the string that I want to center? So let's go ahead and type string text. So in other words, and I'm going to put that in parentheses, and that's um, that's the, the text that's going to be centered on the screen. I'm going to drop down and put open brace, close brace. So everything within this uh, these open brace and close braces is, is defined by this function. So the first thing we want to do is get the center of the screen. What's the center x and the center y of a uh, position of the screen? So I'm going to create two integers, center x, comma, center y. And let's go ahead and assign those, um, those two values now. Center x will be, now again, with the, I'm going to bring back up the, um, the example here. This red dot is what we're trying to define. We're trying to define the x and y locations of this red dot here. Well, basically, that's going to be the x location of that is the width of the viewport, in this case 320 pixels. The width of the viewport divided by 2, 
is the x location and the height of the viewport divided by two is the y location so going back to um, my AGS script the x location is the height of the viewport well how do you get the height of the viewport well in AGS you can type in system dot viewport height it's just as simple as that and that will AGS knows then that that's the uh, that will return the height of the viewport actually in this case for the x for x we want viewport um, width sorry about that so we want system dot viewport width divided by two now that likewise we want the center y location to be system dot viewport height divided by two so that's going to be the x and y location of the center of the screen now we can use that now to um, to display our text so the next thing that we want to do then is we want to get the width and the height of the text itself this text parameter here that was passed in what is the width and the height of the of the text because going again going back to our to our screen here we need this we need this number this 143 and this 8 these are the numbers we're looking for so how do we do that well i'm going to create two more variables i'm going to say text width and text height and then I'm going to assign those right under here. I'm going to say text width equals. Now, how do we get the text width? Well, that's just calling a function called get text width. So get text width. Now, here it wants the text that I'm trying to get the width of. So in this case, it's our text parameter here. We just type in text. What is the font that we want to use? Well, we know that we're going to be displaying this text with our normal font. So I'm just going to say game.normal font because that's the font that we're going to be using. Likewise, to get the height of the of the text, I say text height equals get text height of text, comma game.normal font. The the get text height function actually requires one third parameter, a third parameter that the uh, get text width function didn't. Uh, and if you look there, that's uh, width. It asks, asks for a width parameter. The reason it wants a width is because it it's, it wants to know what it, what's the the width of the area that you're trying to stuff this text into. So um, if you're if you're trying to put a lot of text into a very narrow space, for example, it will have to the AGS will have to wrap that text overlay. It'll have to wrap the text, and so that will cause the text to be displayed on multiple lines, obviously affecting the height uh, that it will return here. So um, it wants to know the width uh, of, this, of the text. Well, in this case, we'll just give it the actual width of the text that we're trying to display. Uh, in this case, that's our variable text width that we just calculated. Now I'm going to add um, something. I'm going to add seven pixels to that um, to that width. Um, the reason being is um, I want to give it a couple of extra pixels on either side uh, for when it goes to, to calculate the, the height. Just add seven to it and all, all will be fine. Um, so that, that calculates the width and the height of the screen, uh, I'm sorry, of the text. Now all we have to do is calculate what's the X and Y location that we want to put this uh, text overlay on. I'm going to add two more variables then, X and Y. And now for X, I'm going to say X equals now, again, we wanted the center of our screen, so center of x minus half of the text width. So text width divide by 2. And then y, then, is center y. That's the y location of the center of the screen minus half of the text, or the te half of the text height. So it's text height divided by 2. Now, we can simply create our, uh, our text overlay. Um, the same way we did before by saying text overlay and we should have all the variables that we that we need to pass to the create textual function text overlay equals overlay dot create textual this is the same thing that we did in the last video now we know the x and y location we just calculated it so we can say x comma y comma we know the width it's going to be text width and again i'm going to add our magic magic number of seven we know the font that we want to use is game.normal font. The color, um, I'm going to say 7. I'll talk about color in a, in a later video. And then we know the text that we want to display. In this case, is our variable text. So I can do that. Now that's all there is to that function. Now all we have to do is call that function. So I'm going to go down here to our room after fade in function that we, that we did in the last video. This, this uh, text overlay call that we did here, I can replace this now 
with our show text centered function. Um, again, that show text center, that's the name of our function that we just created. I put an open parenthesis, and then I give it the text that we want to display. In this case, this is the first text overlay. It's the same, um, same text that we did last time. Close parenthesis and, um, and the semicolon. So that really should be it. So if we run the game at this point, we really should see the results of our hard-earned labor. And there we go. So we have, this is the first text overlay, and it's centered on the screen. So we went to all that work, uh, but now we've got centered text on the screen. In the next video, I'll talk about colors. We passed uh, a number for the color there, but uh, for the color of the text, I'll talk a little bit about colors and how to get the colors. Um, and then we'll go from there. Thanks for watching, guys.